In this video, I'll compare two AI browser extensions that help summarize web pages and articles. There are many benefits of being able to summarize articles. For me, I see three practical applications for them. Efficiency. They allow you to quickly understand the core message of an article or a web page without spending a lot of time. Many articles and news posts contain unnecessary bloat in the form of narrative and storytelling, and they're used primarily to entertain and persuade. If your goal is to cut through the fluff and focus on the core message without the need for entertainment, these summary tools offer an efficient solution. Information triage. We have so much information available to us, but not all of them are worth our attention. So we need an efficient way to filter. I often read book summaries before investing the time to read the actual book, and the summary has to trigger enough curiosity for me to give it my attention. It's the same with longer news articles and blog posts. If the summary captures interesting points and piques my interest, then I'll read the article in full. Last but not least, learning efficiency. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you're a lifelong learner like me, constantly seeking new knowledge. There are two practical ways that these summarization tools help me learn. For articles that contain difficult concepts or topics that I'm not familiar with, it's helpful to read the summary as a primer before I start reading the article. If I understand the gist of the article going into it, it helps me follow along better. And second, I've always been impressed with people who can sit through a long meeting and be able to distill key information and easily articulate key points. By leveraging the summarization tool, you can study and learn how the AI tool summarizes the articles and try to pick up on patterns that will help you do the same. With continued practice, you can develop and hone this skill. I'm sure there are many AI tools that help us summarize web pages and articles, including ChatGPT itself. But I'll focus on two extensions, Perplexity and Short Forms. Let's start with Perplexity. In Perplexity, you can actually go to their website and start interacting with it as you would in ChatGPT. By default, it uses GPT 3.5, but you can toggle this on to use GPT 4 instead. If you go with this option, free users have five credits, which will get replenished every four hours. If you want to sign up for the pro version, it's $20 a month or $200 a year. Now, I primarily use Perplexity as an extension to my Google Chrome. To install the extension from the Perplexity website, click on Download and choose Chrome extension. Of course, you can just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Perplexity from there. I have mine installed already, so my option is to remove it from Chrome but you'll see the option to add it to Chrome instead. Once you have your extension installed, you might want to go to this little extension icon and pin perplexity so that it always shows up in your browser bar. Now that's out of the way, let's look at a sample article. Right off the bat, what I like about perplexity is that you can interact not only with the current web page, but with the entire domain or the whole internet. In most cases, I'll just use the summary button here to get a quick summary of the article. But depending on the website and what information it holds, I can ask it questions to extract information from the domain rather than using the site navigation. And if you have general requests that are not specific to this domain, you can use the internet tab from here. But honestly, for that, I just open up a new tab for ChatGPT. So let's start with a summary example. When I click on the Summarize button, it provides a one-paragraph summary of the article. Even though I find the summary generally helpful, since the summary is in a paragraph format, it's sometimes difficult to read, especially when the paragraph is long. It does offer the option for detail versus concise view, but in my experience, I've actually never noticed any difference between the two, even when summarizing a long article. If you want to go beyond the simple summary, you can interact with the article by typing your prompt here. But I noticed that when I do this, the result often includes information outside the current web page, even when this page is selected. So you need to play around with your prompt and be very specific. Now let's move on to short form. For those of you who don't know, short form is a book summary service that provides in-depth guides to mostly nonfiction books. So they're really experts in summarization. Their service is $24 a month or around $200 a year, which is similar to Perplexity. 
But what you also get with short form is access to their book summaries. It's an entirely different business model from Perplexity. You can download their extension by going to the Chrome Web Store and searching for short form. When you open the extension, you'll notice that we get 100 summary credits per month. I've used this a few dozen times, but I haven't been able to figure out what my remaining credits are for the month, so I'll keep using it and see if it actually run out. Because Summary is their bread and butter, they do an exceptional job of summarizing news articles. Not only do they provide the summaries in an easy to read bulleted form, but it also provides context, reference links to learn more, and counter arguments. But unlike Perplexity, it does not give you the option to engage the article further by entering prompts. This is strictly a summarization tool. My thoughts. For summarizing news articles and blog posts, short form wins hands down. But I do appreciate Perplexity's ability to search the domain and also to engage the article or the domain further using prompts. I should also mention that both services can provide summaries for YouTube videos as well. But again here, Shoreform does a much better job of consistently providing summary outputs, whereas Perplexity sometimes struggles. Perplexity offers a free version, and Shoreform has a five-day trial, so I invite you to try it for yourself. In my opinion, both are very helpful tools, and you'll get a ton of value out of them. Well, that's it for today's video. If you want to know more about how AI can help you be more productive, check out these videos next. Thanks for watching.